So if you're having problems getting JSON data in your Express routes, then there's a line of code that you need to add into your Express app. And the line is actually app dot use express dot json and that's a function that you need to call and if you add that into your server side code what you'll find is the uh, body in your roots uh, will be populated with any data that you send to it so uh, that's pretty much all you need to know but if you want to take a look at an example uh, here i've got a really simple express app it's just got one uh, route uh, which is a post route uh, a forward slash form and you can see here we're sort of uh, destructuring the body property from the re request uh, logging it out to the console and then checking for a username and password and just echoing it back uh, to the uh, the server response. So uh, if I actually go over to Postman and uh, make a call to this now, uh, you'll see, first of all, in here in Postman with the response, we're getting undefined and undefined for the username and password. Uh, and also in the console here uh, in VS Code, uh, you can see that the, the actual body is undefined as well. So we fix that just by adding that simple line of code. So we'll say app.use and then express JSON. It's a function. And let's save that. Uh, and if we go and make that request again, uh, and just click send, you can see straight away we're getting the username and password uh, properties uh, being supplied on that body. And if you have a look in the console, you can see that's what the body has been populated with. It's been populated with an object uh, which matches the, the JSON data that we're sending in. So uh, just that's all you really need to know, but there's a couple of things just to worth mentioning if you are getting uh, still stuck with this. Uh, first of all, uh, obviously make sure you've got this line of code, uh, but also if you're not getting anything in the body, if it's still undefined or giving you strange results, uh, then what you'll need to do is just check that the requests that you're making are actually sending JSON data. So for example, here in Postman, if I change this to text, that's still a valid request, um, but you'll see when I send that request, the uh, properties for username and password are undefined, and we just get an empty object in the uh, console here because body, uh, the, the express.json middleware, isn't actually able to parse the request because it's not being sent as JSON data. And that's all down to the headers that get sent here. So here at the moment, there aren't any headers being sent uh, to indicate that we're sending JSON data. As soon as we set the value here to JSON for the uh, type of data that we're sending, uh, then it will actually set to the correct header uh, to uh, obviously make this work again. And you shouldn't really need to worry about this with any front-end framework. So the Fetch API and Axios and different packages uh, will probably handle this header automatically for you but it's worth checking if you still get an undefined or an empty object uh, in your express app so there we go that's all you need to know about the express.json function uh, hopefully that will sort your problem out if you're having problems with undefined data in your express app and that's it for this tutorial see you next time